Thanks for joining us at the YMOP Lab, where we've been building carpet and floor cleaning machines for over 25 years. In this episode, Yale discusses the basics of cleaning hardwood. It's a big investment for all of us to put into our homes, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong with hardwood. First and foremost, what you want to think about with hardwood is what do you put on the floor and how much. A good place to start is your manufacturer of the hardwood floor. And if you can find what they recommend, we highly recommend that you read that, determine what it is, and if they have very specific suggestions, go ahead and go with that. That's one of the nice things about the uh, YMOP system is whatever you need to use, it'll work with our system and it'll work better than it does with any other system. So if they have a particular cleaner that they want you to use, use it with ours, you can use less of it. And that's kind of the general thing you want to think about with hardwood is low moisture. You don't want a lot of water and all the cleaning products that they give you, they say, don't use water. And then they give you a liquid. Well, it has water in it. So what they really mean is just don't use a lot. Less is more. Yes, definitely less is more. And our system allows you to use a lot less liquid and all that liquid has water in it. So the first thing you need to find out is if your hardwood is finished or if it's a natural finish. If it's a natural finish, then you definitely want to find out what your manufacturer suggests because that's a real big deal with a natural finish. You can really damage the floor very easily if you don't use the right products. So find out what it is. If you have a very typical hardwood floor, that means it has a polyurethane finish. They're fairly durable, but what they don't like is they don't like to get wet and stay wet for any length of time. So with our process, you can use straight water and that's great. Just take your towel, load it the way we've showed you before with a very small number of ounces of liquid or water, or wring out your towel very tightly. Either way will work just fine. You have very little water in your towel. You go over your hardwood, you clean it quite well, and it dries so fast there's no way to damage that polyurethane finish. Well, I've got 12 ounces of general purpose cleaner. We're going to do some hardwood here. 12 ounces might be a little much, but um, we'll see. And if, if it is, we'll just go over it a little more to dry it out. Go ahead and the mop head in there, put the machine on it, turn it on, and pull all the clean solution up into the mop head. There we go. Box out the box out that uh, door jam over there. That side. And then you can tip it up to get right into the very corner there. You can even tip it up and pull it up and get your corner right there. Nice. Nice. You can't do that with a regular mop. Okay. That, that just like hardwood, you can go up right on to this. Always concrete floor. And actually, just as easily, we could have just climbed up on to do some carpet cleaning. That's one of the beauties of the pogo here, is it just goes seamlessly from one surface to another without changing pads, without changing solution. Okay, well, we've been talking about using uh, a brand name product like Bona 
and we're using it with our 4,000 RPM Pogo. You could have a bone mop and you've been using it by hand and just scrubbing one scrub well here. Now I can use the Pogo mop the same way. And it works, but you're not gonna get near the cleaning action, especially if you have little tiny scratches, microscopic scratches in your floor. The um, Pogo mop is gonna fill those in. It's gonna be so much better and you're just going to get a better job and you're going to get it done faster with the Pogo Mop. What does 4,000 RPMs equate to per Well, I scrub. believe, if my math is correct, it's about 57 scrubs per second. That's a lot of scrubs. I see. One, two. So, you know, you can get maybe one or two, three scrubs in a second by hand and you're getting 57 here with the, the Pogo Mop. And like I say, it allows you to use less cleaner, whether it's bona cleaner, whether it's water or whatever else you're using, you can use less of it using the Pogo Mop. And when it comes to a wood floor, that's a good thing. Yeah, you probably get a, also a great benefit if you have a scuff or something that you really need to scrub on. Yeah, and well, yes, scrub in one place or tip it up, push down a little bit. Those pivoting mops, like a bona mop, you can't even really push down on them because they have the pivoting head and so you have to push down flat and you can't heal it up and put some pressure on the corner which can make a huge difference if you've got a difficult spot yeah scuff yeah yeah black heel marks or something sticky some jelly that the, the kid dropped and let dry okay if you have any comments questions or specific cleaning needs leave a comment below Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time at the YMOP Lab.